Hi, and welcome. This is Confessions of a Bipolar Person known as Gorilla Gunny, or Gorilla G. Why am I wearing the mask? Obvious. I don't want you to know who I am. <laughs> now, nah, anyways, with social media out there today, I think that privacy is more important. We have too many people just wandering on in and taking a look at everything. But I still want to confess and share this with you. Okay, a little brief. May I guess about me? I was going to script this, but I just don't think it's necessary. I am severely bipolar. I am familiar with certain medications such as Lamictal, Gabapentin, Phenlafaxin, Klonopin, and a few others. I am also a, you know, you know middle-aged man, I guess. I uh, just want you to know there's hope out there. You can survive. A little disclaimer, though. I am not here to fix anybody's problems, and I'm not here to give you advice. I'm just here to share you what's going on with me. And maybe when you hear something, it might ring or resonate within you. Now, I'll make this brief. Personal bio. Let's just say I worked for the government for many years, and they didn't know. For that matter, I didn't know. And I have my ups and downs. If you know anything about astrology, it's kind of like being a Gemini. There's two sides of you. I always said that I was like a coin. Heads or tails. Or black and white. I am the most lovable guy in the world. Or I am my own worst enemy. But, with that said, I have... And I know that there are those out there that can understand this. Been in such a severe depression that it has taken over my life. I am now currently wounded, not just emotionally, but physically. And I have been relinquished from the government into retirement at a very young age. I try to give back to my community when I can, and I recently spent the last year in hell. So where is the hope in all of this? The hope is, there is no meaning to life. That sounds pessimistic, but it's not. Life is what you make of it. A little more about me. My childhood was not that good, and I know there's many like that. It was very abusive, and there was other things which I do not want to talk about. But, with my kids grown, my wife leaving me, going from poverty to middle class, and now bankruptcy, divorce, back to poverty, I realize it's not about money. It's not about any of that. You can't take care of anybody else, family, friends until you can take care of yourself first. Yes, I am in therapy. And I'm not a therapist. I have many things that I enjoy. Just, I can't stick with them. Boy, it's hot in this mask. <laughs> um, I guess uh, my confession today would be that there's going to be many installments. I am going to write down a few things such as I'll have one segment called Philosophy by Gorilla G. But just remember, none of this, none of my statements are supposed to be geared towards anybody but me. And I hope this inspires you in one way, though. No matter if you're up or down, remember this with bipolar. It's better to be living, alive, and feeling all those emotions, even if they tear you apart, than it is to take your own life. I've tried it three times. I've died twice. Somebody obviously wanted me to live. I'm not going to do it again. I'm worth more than that. You're worth more than that. No matter what your beliefs are, remember you are your own inner light. And that's my belief, my opinion. 
There is hope. Take care.